All right, welcome Wizards and Locations. We have a Strixhaven little special here. Um, Kat, do you want to talk to us about our friends that are uh, kind of helping us out here today? Yeah, so uh, Single Step Gaming is super awesome. They have a Kickstarter right now for Secrets of the Silvera Academy. And y'all should check it out. It runs until the end of the month, I believe. And uh, you'll get a PDF with some super fun spells and a way for your spellcasters to duel each other, which is what we're going to try out now along with a, a little bit of our flavor from um, the Strixhaven campaign that John runs. Yeah, I think it goes to like the, like end of March, beginning of April, right? I but, mean, I could totally find it, but that would take yeah, time. So, yeah. But there's going to be a link there-ish, uh, probably <laughs> down in the, the link to... Um, you can only hope. Probably. It's up to that guy, because he writes them. Um, so yeah, you should check it out, because they're really fun, and hopefully you enjoy this whole thing that we do. You give I you just little... work here. To give you a little bit about it, uh, they are releasing essentially a Here bunch of spells um, for all different echelons of the, of the levels. Um, but what we are trying out is their optional caster dueling. Um, and we're super excited about trying this out. We're going to try it in the theme of Strixhaven, if you will. Uh, and so we're going to put this setting, um, Mordekane's Dueling Club, and all the students have gathered around to watch four professors go at this uh, dueling one, one v ones, right? Um, so if I could have real quick just introduce your professors. Um, so we'll start over here with Andrew. Sure, I am playing uh, Ruxa, the professor for uh, basic magical orals, as I imagine some other things, but we haven't quite got to that yep. part yet. Uh, I am a bear that talks and casts magic. I am a wizard. I am pretty good at uh, the spells <clears throat> things. I know a bunch of them, uh, which is very advantageous for this kind of situation because the way that the caster dueling element charts works is like the more things the more options you have you can't see it because of how cameras work but zoom in guys Try to read <laughs> yeah it. just just get in there and real and zoom in or join like, the kickstarter but yeah the, or or join the kickstarter yeah. Yeah, absolutely but like the more Support. elemental like Beautiful. diversity you have the more you're able to kind of protect yourself yeah and then uh if you're familiar with ruxa you'll see ruxa a lot uh, one of Astra's professors mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, Bear in the Big Blue House. Now, he teaches the bear necessities for He magic. does, usually, usually. Always. Uh, Nate, could you, uh, explain to us who you're, you're portraying for today? I'm playing Zephyr. He's got a bit of a flamboyant side, and he's pretty famous on our Strixhaven show. <laughs> um, he's one of Farrah's professors, too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We kind of pick our professors. I didn't you're even mean to do didn't. that. You're no. the only one who didn't. Thanks, dude. I just thought I it was funny to be a bear. slow enough to be Willow <laughs> Dusk. Uh, what class is um, Zephyr? Bard. Bard, okay. Uh, and so um, one of the cool things with Zephyr uh, is he's got that high charisma, you know, like super high charisma. Uh, so you'll be one of our stronger casters for sure. Um, okay, uh, Mary, who are you playing today? I will be playing Vassie's professor from Silver Quill, Verena. She's an Owlin Bard and she's a giant bitch and I love her. Yeah. And uh, Nothing actually, there. and what's funny too is Zephy is also your professor for um, Voice of the Tempest. Um, but um, Cutting Words, right, is the, is the class. Cutting Words is Fassie's class with Brina. Yeah, very cool. Um, this is going to be very interesting for me specifically because um, if you don't watch our regular shows, you probably don't know. I don't play spellcasters <laughs> at all. At all. And if I do, it's like half spellcasters. Paladin well, at max. This is good because we're only using half of the things that have to do with the spell casting. Nice. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fa the closest you have to spells in e any of our three campaigns is the uh, Eldritch Knight. Or the, or the, Ar the Arcane. Well, no, the Ar the they just don't cast spells. The Arcane, Arcane Archer, Archer can cast hey, actual spells. You're forgetting. Yeah, I have two spells so far. Vassy casts. Punch all the time. Oh yeah, she casts punch and I even butt. I made a spell card for that and, and everything. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like the closest thing to a thing that Fassie uh, has would be rage. <laughs> yes, pack yeah. a punch. Uh, and then Kat, tell us about who you're playing. Oh, uh, I'm sword. I'm uh, playing Misty Fjord, um, and I teach at Strixhaven. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, do a bunch of stuff with magic. You teach and chromatic evolution. expression for Farah, right? I think yeah. you're Farah's instructor. Yes, yes, that is what I do. All right, and so Prismari, uh, you're a uh, sorcerer. Sure. So we have sorcerer sure. for Cat, uh, bard for Mary, bard for Nate, and wizard, wizard. Um, for Andrew. A quandric wizard. Yeah, and it's yeah, quandrics 
literally the Prism. Silver Prism. Quill. Not Prismari? Silver Quill. Huh? Silver Quill. Huh? Yeah, Silver Quill and uh, Prismari. Yeah. So if, there, if you don't have anything else, uh, get rid He does do classes to Prismari because he goes to the uh, Condor Elf. Yeah, Condor Elf. The giant oh. dick. Yeah, yes. The wiener. The space needle. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Wow, that's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> that's, that's really upsetting for them. Uh, so the uh, in high school. few things how this is gonna work. It's gonna be one v one. We're only gonna do two matches, um, and we've had to because we're doing these characters uh, that we don't typically play. Rather than give them all stats, I decided just to. It was a group decision to really give three stats, and we're gonna do essentially what's called a dueling skill, right? Mm-hmm. Which is like the arcana skill. Um, they're going to it's their proficiency plus their casting skill. Mm-hmm. So it's really their spell casting and modifier. They'll have a spell casting DC based on that score, um, which is just eight plus their proficiency plus whatever their, their typical thing is. So eight plus their spell casting. Um, and then their AC, and their AC was loosely based on who the character was that they're portraying. Are they very dexterous as a person? Are they someone who's like a big bear who can take a lot of hits, you, you know? We're not doing HP for this because we're just trying to simplify this like we do for the Mortar Cane stuff. Um, with that being said, this is a new thing for us. So you might see us stumbling a couple times, but we're just, we, we love uh, the idea of just trying something new. Mm-hmm. Uh, it worked out well for our dogs, uh, mm-hmm. I thought, for the Mage Tower. So we're excited to maybe be able to see something with this too, with the elements. The way it's gonna work is they can cast one spell. We're not doing actions or bonus actions, okay? One spell, but they also get a reaction spell. So for example, if I'm fighting Nate, right? I can use an action, my, my, I can use my spell, and he can use his reaction. As long as reaction is part of the counter elements. And so if you guys join that Kickstarter over there, you get to see some really cool stuff. You know, for example, if I'm using acid, you can counter it with some type of bludgeoning object. Maybe a, a stone wall or something blocks up and blocks the acid, right? If, if you support the Kickstarter, you can stop it with like death shield. Yeah. Shield. That's right, they added their own unique awesome. elements of stone, water, wind, and my personal favorite, the void. Uh, I really like the void one, also because I named the whole arena based off of it. But anyways, that's besides the point. Super excited to get going. Um, I would like everybody to roll a d20, please. Oh shit, we're rolling dice? You're rolling dice. <laughs> Do we add anything to it? Or? Nope, just oh, roll the fuck. dice. This is determine who goes into. 11. 11. Six. Seven. Ten. All right, 11 and 10 are going to be fighting each other, and our six and what is yours? Seven. Seven will be going against it. Wow. One off of each other. One off of each other. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start off with... Ooh, this is tricky. Do I go with Mary, the newer to spellcasting, or do I go with Andrew and Nate, the more experienced to spellcasting? Why don't, hmm. why don't I go? Because I'm going to have lots of questions. And let's do that. Ooh, let's do that. That's a great. We can work with this together, right? And then by the time they go, they have their questions answered. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question before we start. No. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. What Shocking no one. What you got? got? <laughs> okay. So in this situation, we have a save DC, correct? Mm-hmm. Are we adding anything to our saves when we're doing that? Um, the, your the dueling your dueling ability. Okay. Yep. And you also add it to attack, a yep. spell attack. Yeah, it's a, right, right now it's just a one-stop all right and now. And that answers my question. Yeah. Just a simple act for now. All right. So with that being said, um, we now um, are going to do a d20 roll again to see who goes first and add your dueling ability to it. This will work as our initiative, guys. Okay? Okay. What is your... 16. And... 14. 14. So you will be going first, right? Um, based on your dual casting ability roll. All right, so lead us off. Okay, okay. I'm going to um, hmm, go ahead and uh, cast a uh, lightning lure. And just so you guys know, this is nighttime outside on this little dirt patch. Uh, there's like these rows, like bleachers, wooden bleachers, mm-hmm. all around, and like what would be like an octagon. I think UFC esque, right? <laughs> um, and so you guys are inside. I'd say it's about. Uh, 60 feet uh, diameter for this octagon. I know, but yeah, words, geometry. Mm-hmm. Cool? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so since it's nighttime, my lightning lore is really bright and super cool and glowy, and it just kind of comes out and tries to wrap around you. Okay, maybe. Um, that what be... is the level and... It's a cantrip with lightning damage or evocation. Evocation or lightning. So I'm going to look at my sheet. Lightning, I can use stone, bludgeoning, or force. And because it's an evocation spell, you can also use divination or transmutation to counter it as a school. 
We didn't go over that at the beginning, but there is a school countering system as well. Yes. That way you can counter with spells that don't necessarily do damage. I don't have a lot of spells that do damage, as I am a bard. Burst the three hits, by the way. Can't say that earlier. Mm-hmm. So, um, for evocation, I don't really, I don't have any divination spells. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So I will use my first level transmutation spell, Featherfall. So as soon as I see this lightning coming towards my face, I, I go, I'm surprised to see you here, Misty. This is a little bit more public than your purview usually allows, and I'm <laughs> going to just dance like a feather on the wind around your attack. Oh, wow, that's pretty, pretty. Um, yeah. What level did you cast that? Term? It's a Kendra. Okay, so you had to use a first level to do that. Okay. Yes, or more. Yeah. The uh, ruling that we had, and don't get my seat confused. John is the one who's running this at the moment, but uh, he didn't want to give up his chair. He didn't want to give up know. his fancy chair to okay. me. I don't know what that's about, but like apparently don't just them lie to you, enough. and they're not lying to you. It's all about the chair. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, like, in order to prevent cantrips, cantering cantrips, if you cast a cantrip, you have to use a first level spell slot in order to count. And first to three hits went. Yep. Yes. yes we... Absolutely. All right. Sure. So as that, uh, you were able to dance around this lightning, and you end up um, now in, a, in the advantage spot. What do you want to cast? I'm going to cast um, a hypnotic pattern. Mm. Also known as fuck shit up. Fuck shit up. And so you have to make a wisdom saving throw, which. Instead of doing pure wisdom, it's just the casting. So what is the um, the type of the college. class then? It's a third level illusion. Illusion. Conjuration or enchantment. <laughs> third freaking level. If you're using any apps, um, whether it's a spellbook app or, or something like that, this is one of those uh, systems where you're going to want to know what type of damage, if there is damage to it, and then what type of school it is, right? And that will help you speed things up, essentially, with it. There's no damage here. It's a uh, pass or to be charmed. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as this illusion, or some, it was an illusion, right? Illusion, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Comes at me, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, just send an ice knife at it, and I mean, obviously, it's an illusion. Passes through. Oh, that's good. Very cool. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure, the ice bucket challenge. That was the ice knife challenge. And I upcast sure. it to level three so that I could counter her level three spell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what does that look like? When it's upcast. It. Knife. Oh, oh, an even bigger glowy knife. <laughs> so you're just so you're like you see you light. see this hypnotic she pattern did. appearing just... in the air. And you're like ah, you throw a knife and at you're it. like oh, it did nothing. That's oh. fake, <laughs> fake, fake news. And then that enables you to realize oh, it's not real. <laughs> fake news over there. The the hypnotic pattern, by the way, was misty, misty. I'm not gonna. This is a lot for you. <laughs> No, it's not. Not gonna lie, I pictured like when in Naruto when they, they stab themselves to get them out of like Genjutsu, like Ice Knife. Ow! Oh, <laughs> you're <not> real! <laughs> Actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not too much. Okay. I'm really good All at right. doing things like. Like throwing lots and lots of water at you because I'm upset, and so I just. Is there a water damage? Yes. It's actually bludgeoning damage. It's just a bunch of. I draw the ocean up, out of the ground, and throw it at you. But also, there is a there is uh, water damage in this. System. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one of the new ones. Mm-hmm. But in Whoa. this case, it's conjuration bludgeoning damage at third level. Conjuration illusion. I have illusion spell. What is this? What is this one called? It's called Freedom of the Waves, because I'm free and float. You said it was what level? Third. Third? Third? Okay. Um, the waves are two. Best I got is a fifth level illusion mislead, so you send a bunch of waves at me, and that it just passes right through me, and but, I'm flying above going, but, Misty, Misty, but, Misty. But, <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Misty missed me. Misty missed me. Wow. <laughs> you are rapidly degenerating into third grade bullshit. <laughs> this poor woman. <laughs> I'm 
imagine getting bullied by a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, it happened my whole life. <laughs> I know. I get it. I feel that. And so I'm going to cast a spell from the uh, Kickstarter. Okay. They call it Rocky Road. Nice. And the flavor of it, in not this context, is chocolate with marshmallows. Yeah. <gasps> The flavor of this is these nuts. <laughs> wow. Nuts. No. Um, basically, what it does in, outside of this context is it creates difficult terrain that does damage when you cross through it. Yeah. Unless I deign that um, you, you, and you don't you have really... difficult terrain. Oh, good. Oh, it's. But it's like the I'm not doing that, oh, Misty. It's, no. it's voluntary. Uh, it, uh, difficult terrain. That's interesting. Yeah, it's voluntary Legos on the ground. That it's you like on. forty ten piercing. Hot something. fucking damn! What I... level of spell is that? Sixth level. Okay. Okay. Conjuration does stone or piercing damage, and basically, I and I it, when, remember when I was telling you that I was picking bird, bird spells. That's the bird spell because I can just fly over it. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. But basically, this the earth starts to crater and crag, and it is basically falling and rising underneath you. Well, that, that's not great. And you can hear peals of my laughter as you, I flutter above. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and upcast my Scathing Storm, which I think is also from the Kickstarter. Freaking fantastic. Uh, it does some stormy things, probably. <laughs> what? But I'm not going to go read it, because I'm just going to cast it because I'm scathingly angry at you, and I'm going to rain down my anger at your rocks and stop them. Gets rocks off. Maybe. Yeah. I actually didn't read the paper, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what did your your spell was what thing? Rocky Road. Uh, no, it mean, was a uh, conjuration stone piercing. She would need a One of or my six things that does damage. Oh, no, stone piercing. Thunder, wind. What is stone? Okay. It's not necessarily a Old bad history. thing to have a specific like thing that you do a lot because they may not have enough spell slots of that particular thing to oh, get sweet. rid of it. You said piercing too, right? Mm -hmm. The thunder from my storm just shatters all of that freaking piercing damage. Boom. And now the field is freshly rubbled. And you said six? Six level, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I might be doing that on purpose. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this, uh, this duel has come up is coming out with a freaking bang. Listen, it's, I know my weaknesses. <laughs> it's like third, it's like the third round, and, or like the third go back and forth, and like six level spells are getting yeah, come yeah. out of here. I'm, I'm trying to think, Brina would go base first. For, for reference, we only have, we only get up to level seventh spells. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, because there's already a storm, angrily send a whirlwind at you. Okay. What is it? Angrily. It's a seventh level spell that is oh, an evocation bludgeoning that's just gonna whip you up. Probably, oh, maybe. What's it called? Well, when. Okay. Well, when. Yeah, I only have a seventh level evocation, so I take the hit. Alright. Well, is it an, auto it's it's an automatic hit? It's, well, that's true. It's a. Oh, is it a saving throw? Yes, it's a saving throw. <gasps> that's why I highlighted it in blue. And reminded us of the other mechanic. Mm. That's a. <laughs> 15? Nope. It still hits you. Okay. Alright, so he watches you. The storm it's begins to gather from your spell, and then that whirlwind just starts to spell. twirl. What was it? The storm from... Storm Pierce? Yeah, that's what I meant. And the <laughs> storm twirls and becomes this whirlwind, and you see Brina trying to flap against it, and it's just getting caught in this twister. I got punished for being a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. Yeah. Well, maybe it's thinking? for being a bully, though. Being a bird. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm so gonna hit you with my seventh level spell Shit. because I'm embarrassed and angry. Yeah. And I'm gonna cast Force Fuck. Cage. Fuck. You automatically, nice. you automatically take, except for. Well, I can't. I, I just cast my. It's a charisma save. save. Okay, so that would be a save for you. Shit. That's a bad roll. Oh, Ooh. bitch. <laughs> 12. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I hit the ground in what was probably not as satisfying a crunch as it could have been. 
And <laughs> she immediately looks up with raw fury, and you feel as these just bars of glowing <laughs> insanity just fucking raise from the ground and trap you. And because it's a sportsman like dueling thing, you're trapped for all of six seconds, and then poof, round over. Oh. Yeah. But it does count as a hit. Yeah, yes. as you kind of get like singed from these like radiant bars, uh, the, the match resets, the bars fuck. go away. It's 1-1 one, one now. Fuck, 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 yeah. fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, this, fuck. This is, that, that specifically is only in the context of what we're doing here yeah. as like a dueling club. In the actual fight, like a force cage, like if, oh, you, can, you didn't, weren't able to counter it, the force cage is still there. It yeah. will, it doesn't just go away. Yeah, so if you wanted to, if your goal was to bring someone down in HP and it, or, or get away, right, mm -hmm. that... Spell will still keep going. We're just throwing this in the context of Street Haven. Yeah. We're good it? sportsmen. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm going to cast Ice Prison at you. <laughs> Which is a fifth <laughs> level conjuration. Is that fifth level you said? Yeah, Ice, Cold, or Conjuration. Fifth level you said? Yes. Conjuration? Yep. I have a fifth level illusion. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Mislead, and you put an Ice Prison around a visage of me, and I'm... S. Next we're going, oh, Misty, again? Shut up. <laughs> Just see a snowman. <laughs> Long. <laughs> Damn it, Frosty. <laughs> if if mislead isn't just the replacement jutsu, I yeah, know. I know. Yeah. Ninjis. <laughs> Ninjis. Okay. Uh I'm going to Kunai instead of a carrot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to use compulsion, and I'm going to go, I know you want to quit. It's okay. I don't. It's fine. You're you... alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fourth level enchantment. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and say really, really loudly, that you're a liar, and I'm gonna upcast my phantasmal force to just shout liar at you. You're a liar in the cheeks. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> and you'll serve the rest of your time on this vessel. You said fourth level? Fourth level. And that's an illusion, so it counts. You're condemned to the Halinko air. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Don't do it! Truly. A <laughs> fate worse than death. <laughs> the rum is always And gone. you're welcome to tell me whether I'm mixing up things. No, that should be good. Okay, good. Put the subs. I didn't think you had an illusion spell. Subs include poison subs. I do because I'm Um, so, so after hitting you with that, um, I'm just gonna, like, clap my hands really loudly. Which that was not. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> cast Thunderclap. I'm sure, I'm sure Shit. our, uh, well, I was I'm gonna so say, I'm sure. This. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> podcast listener. I was trying so very hard at this. Uh, a, a cantrip evocation with thunder damage. Uh, I happen to have silence. Fuck. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that's, a, that's such a good fucking Fuck. counter, though. <laughs> it is the counter. Yeah. It is. It is I said... I said, hey. Hey. <laughs> so, I, you, you clap, and it comes for me, and she just goes... <laughs> Misty, did you say something? Did you at all? This is not good. Oh no. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna try something different. Um, I'm gonna cast another Kickstarter exclusive spell called Wall of Shadows. Cool, that's cool. It basically is a 10 by 10 by 6 inch wall, and beholding it in front of your visage makes you cut, uh, roll a wisdom saving throw. Hit me a word picture. Sorry. 10 by 10 by 6. <laughs> <laughs> okay, being mean to me. It's one hell of a Viking. Being mean to me? <laughs> so not me describing the spells in the Kickstarter to tantalize the imagination to get roasted for it. It's an illusion. No, it's a game where you're 9 by 9. It is a evocation. A it does not require damage. Divination, transmutation. <laughs> He fucking made Spongebob. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, fuck yes. I took this for a reason. He cast Wall of Muscle by standard. <laughs> I cast Wall of Light. Hey. Oh, that would fucking count. count that. 
<laughs> and it just, it, it's this blue glowing light that just blasts through your darkness because light is better. <laughs> I'm gonna be super uh, uh, real with you. I was 100% hoping she would say that she cast magic this. <laughs> <laughs> It's regardless. <laughs> Boo on you. I cast magic missile at the darkness. <laughs> but yeah. Wall of light. And then, and then, and then. Yeah. Acid splash. Ah, okay. Splish. A cantrip. Okay. Which is an evocation cantrip with acid damage. Mm. Wait, I lied. Conjuration cantrip. I'm not dyslexic. Really? It's not uh, interesting. Uh, another spell that I picked out from the Kickstarter, which because I have been on this roll of actually telling you what the spells do, I gotta fuck it up. <laughs> it's the first one I picked, so I don't remember. Um, ago, long it's ago. called Glamour, but without an O. And uh, <laughs> So Glimmer. <laughs> glimmer. <laughs> British or American. Glamour. And basically, <laughs> is it well? In a per, in a out of this context thing, it's basically an illusion aimed at a target. They must make a wisdom save, and if they pass, probably. Uh huh. Oh, pass. They have disadvantage on actions, and if they fail, they decide whether they only get a regular action or movement. Okay, so it's like a like hmm. a. A level but, down slow. Yeah. yeah. And you have to choose between the. You, you oh. cannot take reactions. And what level spell is this? Uh, first. Hot dicks. Oh, yeah, but dicks more importantly, it. it's illusion. There you go. <laughs> well, fuck. My acid splash does. And I'm gonna be wise and actually use cantrips also. So I'm gonna. <laughs> just, go I was like, it doesn't do nothing. It get, makes your burn through spell slots. I'm going to... I don't know if the audience is aware. You only get so many of those. <laughs> nice. I'm going to try and figure out... This system is not made for warlocks. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. God. <laughs> they, they wouldn't be able to do anything at all. That'd be so horrible. I got that fifth level. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I got two. <laughs> Uses cantrip, counterspell that fifth level. <laughs> Uh, vicious mockery, why not? Oh. So that's an enchantment, psychic, a cantrip. That is an interesting insight, though, to this, uh, to this, this system. Is mm-hmm. And basically... And specifically people with... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Never mind. The sports color commentary. <laughs> um, basically what she says is... Misty, give it up! <laughs> this is too much for you! You know you're not going to win. Mm-hmm. First year professors never win these things. <laughs> Give it up. I'm gonna cast Chromatic Orb uh, as thunder damage, and uh, just drown That's out your your this. your entire speech useful. because it's booming around my ears, and I'm just gonna yeah. just, no bad stop. I of course, there's will. Orb. I never then. would have thought about Chromatic Orb in that context. It's That's so smart. Good. That's I... fucking smart. <laughs> To, because this is not even a, a surprise thing anymore, I was also thinking of using Dragon Breath for that kind of situation. Oh, yeah. Because Dragon yeah. Breath is like Chromatic Orb, except you, you can use it. it longer. Like In the context of a normal Dungeons & Dragons game, Dragon Breath is a thing that you have for a long period of time. Oh, it's, it's like a like the minute Yeah, it's, a, it's like a concentration thing. You have it for a minute. Huh. Haha. So then, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And mm-hmm. Ray of Frost you, which is an evocation. Cold is that? Cantrip that is cold. Evocation. I cast cock with cold. The cold. Evocation. Do do that it's too bad I can't use cantrips to. Anyway, um. It is too bad. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a feather pull again. Oh, okay. So another it's Ray and another good. feather on the wind dodge. And then, um, (laughs) see, I really can do it. I'll beat you. I might be needing some supplemental rolls for to 
go for warlocks, but uh, they might just n not be the class for this kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. In a combat, warlocks can still do a lot. Yeah, I mean, so. Yeah. And like this is not even talking about how the fact that you know if you don't if you're not a caster, yeah, it doesn't apply to you. At you guys all. are also playing as level thirteen casters right now. Yeah. So this is just because I'm not a spellcaster person. How does upcasting work? Is it anything, or is it only ones that get... any any spell that you have, uh, you can upcast at that level. But so. not a cantrip. But not a cantrip. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cast Tasha City Slapper at fourth. <laughs> Usually there is a specific specificity in the uh, spell oh. itself, but for the context of this... Of countering? Yeah, um, you're fine. You're fine. Go. You can always upcast, even if it doesn't have, like, a special extra thing it does. Yeah, just use that spell pop-up. So, that would be a enchantment, and that's it. Level well, 4 enchantment. 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 Best character in Dragon, Dragon Age, Age Origins. Yeah. <laughs> I played through that once. Well, half of it. He's not me, G. He's just covered in blood. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cast Great Invisibility and hide from you because you're just being so fucking mean. Yeah, that's what I do. You're going to reaction counter? It is a counter, because it is an elite. Cat always yeah. got with Zephron. I wasn't hoping. Just the to... one time I fucking played. Yeah, the one time you played. You <laughs> always played. got with him. That's <laughs> technically a correct statement. I also correct. always got with Zevran. What's the only way to keep him? Because. He'll run away. Because also I only played once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he runs away if you don't. No, I um, just thought he was a hot elf, and I was like, yeah, he was oh, he's a hot, hot elf. elf. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't romance anyone in that game. Um, Did Zevron leave you? Alistair, bro. I was playing a boy. I, I couldn't romance him. Alistair. <laughs> I can fix the, the closest one I got to was Morrigan, but her... She didn't vibe with me. Oh, uh, what's well, because, you know, she's... Yeah. Doesn't vibe with many people? Uh, not, but... I mean, I think if we look at the percentage of people of who <laughs> uh, romances who, we will see Morgan that Morrigan is, is probably there. pretty high. Actually, <laughs> my typical is Liliana, though. That's fair. Yeah. I wanted to romance Alistair. Playing a boy, <laughs> and it was 2000 something. <laughs> he only liked me as a friend. <laughs> you were friend zoned. Friend zoned. Right, whose turn is it? Mine, I think. <laughs> yes, because yes, I turned invisible, your, and then I I skirt around you because you're being so fucking mean, and I My from bitch. the side I send a phantasmal force at you. Okay. It looks like there's a big wave coming straight at you. And it's a second level psychic illusion. Right, that illusion wave. for psychic damage. <laughs> By blue wave. Misty. Damn it. Misty. Misty. Yes. Illusions? Yes. At me? Yes. And uh, I'm casting Enthrall. Fuck. Ooh. Second level enchantment. Just be like. You're playing with the big boys. So pretty. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck. Fuck. Second level. I have a thought about what's happening now that we're actually playing it that I will voice once the uh, episode. Okay. Anyway. Um... Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> You. I wanted to say that I was like, mm, I shouldn't interrupt. <laughs> but thank you. But you are appreciated. I have so many things that are also things so that you have. <laughs> 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 Let's do another hypnotic pattern. Fuck it. Okay. Which is, you third, know, third level illusion. illusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up mad hatter shit. Oh, I was I was gonna describe what it does, but yeah, third level yeah. illusion. Describe what it does. Yeah, well, no, go ahead. <laughs> Look at uh, it. <laughs> what, what is it that you say? Saber suck. <laughs> yeah. Saber suck. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but that's not the context here. I didn't make that shit. What's the illusion look forever. like? <laughs> it's a saber suck. It's okay. Everyone will like you better if you just give up. Well. I'm most confident in the water, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast 
conjuration, the freedom of waves, and just wrap myself up in my comfort blanket of seawater. <laughs> and not listen to you, because you're mean. I'm mean. <laughs> so, so Salty. mean. Salty. <laughs> wow. So mean. Do you mean? Wow. Do you mean? You want to say the salty language? Seawater. And then, and then, and then I'm going to cast Ice Knife no. out of the water because I can, oh, okay. as a as a first level conjuration with piercing damage. Conjuration. There's another glamour. It's just I, I am so beautiful that you miss on accident. Fuck. <laughs> You missed on accident. On purpose, because you're lovely. Mean and so pretty at the same time. Um, Stop it. Why is it pretty with her? so mean? <laughs> it's because I'm a giant I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tell Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and just try to smack you across the face a little bit. Come on, Misty, get your shit together. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is what? Bludgeoning, definitely bludgeoning. Uh, no, it's conjuring. Is it? Oh, okay. there's no damage on my yeah. hand. That's why I'm watching. <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even do damage. <laughs> no. I'm just hitting you. Oh and God. you cast it as a first level or a second? No, it's a cantrip. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you understand why I thought it was what so What a waste. Funny. Well, my phantasmal force pushes it away. Okay, great. <laughs> my illusion of water while I'm wrapped up oh in water. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. And then, and then, you know what? I'm gonna thunderclap at you again. For what? For an evocation with Some, thunder damage. Somebody rolled the 23. Silence. Fuck. We I, was silence. Hoping, I was hoping you didn't have any more of those. We, we cast Thunderclap on our podcast listeners every time we roll 23. Yep. Except that last time I did it. Oh. I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna go, Misty! <laughs> <laughs> Mage hand. Well, luckily, I have another second level slot and I Phantasmal Force it away. Go away. No. <laughs> Misty! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! At this point, students are just like, "Where is going on?" <laughs> this seems personal. I do. Right? Enjoy, like, yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy how this went from like this massive like elemental clash of hurricanes and whirlwinds, and it's just about to do stop fucking, hitting yourself. Fucking <laughs> stop <tantric>. hitting yourself. <laughs> Could you imagine if like yo, all you had was a level seven, and they use a cantrip of mage hand on you? And you're like. Well, <laughs> to be fair, in an actual, like, in, yeah, in a I, situation where this wasn't uh, a sporting event, Mage Hand doesn't do damage, so there would be no reason to counter it. Lightning lore it is. <laughs> and I'll, I'll try to wrap you up in my lightning again and pull you towards it. Uh, it is, it is a, a evocation with lightning damage. Evocation counter? Yeah, I'm, all, I'm a whole lot of out of spell slots. I have one, but it doesn't counter that. <laughs> it's a saving throw. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's so cocked. That's cocked, I believe. That's straight time cocked. for that. Uh, 27? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what? I rolled a natural 19 plus 8. Ass. Plus dicks. Well, my lightning goes right past you. Whack. What's the score so far? Uh, I'm the one only one, one that's taken one. No, I've got no, one. one. It's one, one to one. Oh, shit. Go. I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll just I'll just hazard a hypnotic pattern again. Let's see what the fuck we're gonna find out. Which is a third level illusion. Third level illusion. What is your hypnotic pattern look like? Is is it literally just you yelling at her again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everyone will like you more if you quit. They don't like you now, but they might if you quit. This giant bird head. Just yelling at this. And he's like, what the fuck? 
Okay. Well, I'm just gonna Soccer keep wrapping myself up in more ocean like salt water child. because I can. And now I feel protected, and I know that at least the waves love me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. There's and that one student named Sarah, Sarah who's really, really nice. And now it's me getting the shit pummeled out of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and lightning <laughs> lower the crap yeah. out of you again. Yeah, and that'll do it. Uh, twenty. Fuck. I'm gonna disappear for just a second because my so now it's just up. Brina doing air acrobatics. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so the next spell I'm gonna cast is Vicious Mockery. Oh, okay. That's Psychic Enchantment. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cast another Chromatic Orb and drown you out with my thunder damage. Uh huh. And then what do you do to me? Lightning Lore. Okay. 26. <laughs> Vicious mockery. <laughs> lightning, or not lightning lore. Chromatic orb. Now lightning lore. <laughs> 17. <laughs> it's defaulted like this is desperate. Like. Damn it, that matches. <laughs> oh my god. Vicious mockery. Which is a save or? It's a wisdom save. 15. Nope, DC 16. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, lightning you, lore. You see Misty getting real sad. Uh, that's a... Oh god, I can add. 23! You did it too quick. I mean, we weren't able to catch up there. I'm sorry, I got excited. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Vicious Mockery. That's 23. Pretty, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ray of Frost. Ooh. Huh? Which is only a 14. Nope. Nope. Your turn. Add nine to that. That's a natural one. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what do you say? What do you do? <laughs> how, does, how does Misty go down? Yeah. Well. Well. That sounds feathery and unpleasant. It's just... I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm thinking. I'm trying to say something I haven't said before. Um... It's just a this barrage of lightning lures and dodging it and saying nasty things and dodging lightning and saying more nasty things and eventually she lands right in front of Misty and she's beak to nose and she just goes, I promise it'll be fine. <laughs> I really don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts to cry. Wow. Thing. Anybody who's a fan of Misty Fjord on our podcast is going to be really mad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want people to be a fan of Brina. Yeah. That's true. Very Brina kind of sucks. She's a lot. She's a... Um... I love her exactly the way she is. <laughs> mean. Yeah. She's teaching Cassie to protect herself. All right. You see some of the students, like, just shedding tears for Misty. Just... God. Anyway, we were... I was rooting for her! <laughs> This is what you will learn at Silver Quill! <laughs> <laughs> but Prisma is pretty cool too. Destroy your opponent with words. <laughs> Everybody thinks, oh, Silver Quill only learns writing and wordplay and blah. I will tear you down. <laughs> I will build you. All right. All right. Don't, don't be mean. For next uh, two combatants, we see... Well, before we go into the next one, because yeah. I, I don't know if you had anything to yeah. add into the other one. Yeah. Like, the thing I was going to say is, it's interesting when you use a spell to counter a spell, because usually when you use the spell you're using to counter with, there's also a save DC, or also like some kind of effect that doesn't actually get used in the use of In the case of this... Yeah. So that's an interesting I wonder uh, if it, I aspect. Want, I wonder if to counter you still have to either land or make them break a, a DC. Yeah. I think that the visual spectacle of wizards or magic just throwing yeah. magic yeah. at each other. They're just no, can you imagine like you flying like, everywhere and just lightning yeah. layers is constantly like coming at you and you're yeah. just like, oh. Like, 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 no ones. Yeah. No ones. Just yeah. her screaming. Yeah. yeah. No, like the, the visual, magic is born from like, my voice. Deflecting yeah. fucking shit with your voice. You know, yeah. Absolutely. The like, visual like, flavor like, that this can give you is oh, A plus. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, for one, cannot wait to see what Zephi does to oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> spice up this duel between himself and a bear. All right, so we see as <laughs> Professor Zephi approaches Ruxa. Go ahead and roll d20, please, and add your dueling skill to this. Once again, the dueling skill is just a completely little homebrew thing from us, just to simplify for these characters that we're playing. And once we play our own characters, we'd actually use our own Our stats. typical stats for initiative and such. I rolled a 2. Plus 9, 11. Alright, and what is Zephi? Ah, yeah. I think, uh, uh, 19, well, no wait. The 9, and then you hold it. Alright, I'm trying to set this up for you. It was a 9. <clears throat> yeah, I got a nice 10, right? 19? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's a so, big number! I think you go first. Yeah, I think Zephi will uh, beat you on that one. Uh, so, Zephi, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. I think we're all ready for a little bit of sex. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna pat, like, he's, he's not gonna even wait to, like, kind of acknowledge that they're. <laughs> he's not gonna he's not gonna be like, you know, bantering back and forth with you. He's just gonna start off with an electric field. Very cool. Okay. So that's a uh lightning evocation with a dex. Lightning evocation. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what level is this? Level two. Two seven, okay. Oh, lightning. I'm going to use uh, the second level spell, Maximilian's Earthen Grasp. So, like, the lightning's gonna pop out, and then this giant fist is gonna come out and just hit the fist instead. You're really killing the vibe! Here comes the giant <laughs> fist! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's one second level spell slot used for each of us, I believe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and with that, he's the Ruxa is going to jump on top of the Earthen Fist. And you see him just kind of like bear, like bear down. But like <laughs> you see his claws just kind of like shine for just a second as he casts uh, Steel Wing Strike or Steel Wind Strike, which is a level five conjuration that, that does force damage. I'm picturing like Beast from the fucking X Men. Yeah, like he's like I mean? yeah. yeah, or like um, what's who's the guy from Street Fighter who's like that? Um, I know you're talking about it, the mm. green dude, the green guy. Yeah. He said it that was guy. Alpha, Alpha what was this spell called? Steel Wind Strike. Bianca. Right? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Blanca. Blanca. Yeah, not Bianca. Blanca. Bianca now. <laughs> Bianca to his friends. <laughs> They're Bianca in our hearts. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. He's going to be like, um, oh, let's just chill a little bit. Come on, <laughs> it's gonna be like a hypnotic pattern. That okay. Gonna use, um, so you're gonna upcast that to fifth level? Uh, yes. I'm gonna upcast that to fifth level. Okay. So that's a huge. Change. So even though I um, missed that, quote unquote, basically I'm gonna use. I'm gonna assume that like he's going to trans teleport behind you. No offense, kid. Um, <laughs> nothing personnel. <laughs> so what does that look like as I do the steel wind strike? As I just gonna like fucking uh, samurai dash through you? Uh, it, I think what happens is, like, the hypnotic pattern is kind of, like, trippy, very mm -hmm. saturated, and it's, like, kind of got, like, mm -hmm. music playing that's, like, kind of, like, do 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 I'm just so like, like, <laughs> everything's, like, a little bit wiggly, and so, like, you dash through, and he just kind of, like, <laughs> you know, what you, know I, you know what I'm thinking of when you say that, and this is going to date me really hard, is back when they had cable televisions, and you went to, like, the really high porn things, and it was all distorted, but you could kind of hear what was happening. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's what I'm picturing. There's like oh, yeah. this like distorted saxophone and like this terrible visual, and it's just like, what the fuck is happening? And I just miss. <laughs> hey, thank you, John. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so now I'm I, I have teleported behind you. Hmm. He's gonna. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so he's gonna be like, um. Changing the location, but I got the danger. And he's gonna swing around and he's gonna go. Psychic lance flies out. <laughs> Alright, what is that? Uh, so, it's gonna be. Uh, level 4. Level 4, okay. 
Make psychic enchantment intelligence save. Okay, uh, let me see. You said level four? Uh, yes. I'm going to cast, uh, to counter this, the spell Storm Sphere. So, like, as you use your psychic glance, this cage of lightning just envelops me, and it just kind of, like, you just see, you know, like, one of those, like, plasma orbs where, like, you touch it and all the things it's concentrated in that one area? Yeah. It's like that storm cage just kind of, like, all of the energy just rushes to that one point where it's, like, this electric shield just protects me from it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, and uh, to keep the kind of thing going, I'm going to cast a second level spell, uh, Dragon's Breath, mm. where you just see this giant bear raise up and his head turns into a dragon head as he breathes lightning on you, Good. which is a level two uh, conjuration spell that does, uh, let me look at it, uh, lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you said level two conjuration. Yes. Um. Oh, and to be f uh, perfectly clear, in order to, if you don't do it, it's a um, dexterity saving throw, or a, just a saving throw. Um. Escape spook jazz. <laughs> It must get smooth. It must be smooth. I'm not gonna counter it. Okay. So I'll take the saving throw. He's gonna be like, "Looks like you got my number dialed." <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Even though there's. <laughs> no, I like that. It's like, what is he talking about? Uh, okay. Great sports ball. What's this guy talking 17? about? Seventeen matches the DC. Ooh, yeah. that work. How did Andrew spell things to it? Alright. Uh, it's a natural center. Oh, uh, well, well then you're fine. Yeah, 27. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Hello, <laughs> sailor. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so you just nimbly dodge out of the way. Hmm. Alright. Um. Groovy. He's gonna be like, how about a little change of pace? My <laughs> marching band? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Um, so, uh, it's, so, out of the, out of the top of the horn is gonna be, like, this fucking sword that just pops up and it's like, burr, 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 and then it's gonna, like, kind of, like, dance for a second, and then it's just gonna, like, tilt and then fly at you. <laughs> okay. What is, what is, what is happening That's here? a level seven Morden Caven sword. Alright, what is the, what, what, is it, what is, okay, so Oh, what sorry, is, it's, uh, it's Force Evocation. And, and there's, it just is the thing that happens? It's in a attack roll, I believe. Okay. I actually forgot the word. Uh, here. Well, look at it. Alright, well, you said it was an evocation? Uh, yes. Evocation. Uh, yeah. I do an attack roll. Melee spell attack. I'm sorry, one more time. It is a force uh, attack? Force evocation, yep. Force evocation. I don't really have any marking bands, so. Yeah, it's a melee spell attack. How do you get some stand in here? It's called Jack Lumber. Here's what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to upcast as a, a quick thing, Tensor's Transformation, which is a transmutation spell so I can use it to counter evocation. So essentially what happens is when you do this sword, the bear gets even more like large and strong and like her muscles just bulging out of him. Grizzly? Yeah. He turns into like a big old grizzly fucking bear and then just Max it out of the fucking air. Oh my god. <laughs> he must work out. <laughs> and like, and like, as he does that, it was just like this fucking 
Ultra Instinct fucking <laughs> smack away, and then like as, right after he's yeah. back down to like his normal. Yeah, you only get one rage. <laughs> yeah, you only see another rage. Yeah, <laughs> it only works for a second, and then he's back to just being a regular giant bear. <laughs> <laughs> CP level goes down. Like that. All right, so those are both of our seven level spells. Hey, pick on someone your own size. <laughs> and like, and like you see him like as he smacks it down, it looks like he's gonna try and claw at you, but he just goes. Straight down into the earth, and like a stone spike comes out underneath, which is a Uh, stone spike is a. I'm pretty sure that is from the new spell list from the. I would the guess Garden. stone. What's that? Like I would guess stone. Uh, do you know what? Yeah. It would be probably pretty much on the on the money there. Yeah. Actually, <gasps> no, this, these aren't characters. There it is. Stone spike. It does stone damage. Stone. It is a dexterity saving. It is a saving throw. To be fair. Mm. What type of cast is it? It's a. Uh, I imagine a evocation. Okay. So evocation stone. Okay. Evocation. Conjuration is pretty because it, it is uh, countered by the two things that bards are pretty good at and usually have some spells for. Said it was a sorry. It's a conjuration spell. Yes. Conjuration, and then it just I do a deck save. If you do not want to counter it, yes. Yeah, you, you can save. counter it. You right. have lightning. Counter stone with lightning. Yeah. You can also counter evocation with divination or transmutation. He, he's gonna be like. That's not. Conjuration. <laughs> it's conjuration, so it's uh, illusion or transmutation. I don't like the cut of your jab. <laughs> and he's gonna do it like a. A horn blast with a charged bolt into okay. it, and it's gonna kind of crack into the stone. Like as it's popping out mm -hmm. with this, uh, the stone, it's gonna just trip, like tessellate mm -hmm. through and explode out. Nice. And then I just pictured the oh, buzzing like, making the <laughs> ride. <laughs> 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 Fucking kazoo sounds as it's electrocuting. <laughs> We're both looking over like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he is going to. Use those shards to spiral cloud of daggers around you. Ooh. So the the it's gonna explode out into the shards, and the shards are gonna spiral. And he's gonna be like, <laughs> and that's a saving throw. Um, it is. Uh, actually, I don't think it is. It is it a deck save? I forgot. It seems like something that would be a deck save. If I if it were me, it was also one of those things that was like kind of ridiculous. No. Well, here's the thing. If it's something that does damage automatically, we can always just attribute a saving throw to it in the context of the... Uh... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there, it, it is one of those things. It's like magic missile. Okay. So, so instead of that, do we want to do the dueling uh, saving throw? For the... For Cloud of Daggers, because it's a spell that automatically hits usually? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. So I will not counter it, and I will attempt to make the saving throw. Uh, 18 plus 9, so 27. That's a pretty good oh, roll. Hmm. Oh, was it a saving throw or a... Con uh, or it's, it's not anything. We're attributing a saving throw to it because otherwise it would just automatically hit. Oh. So we're, we're, it, it, this is not the rule of Cloud of Daggers. This is just a in, in this context. Yeah. No, I just misinterpreted what you said and thought you were doing Contessa Mall. Um... I mean, that's an option, but we that's not what we were doing. No, that's fine. I just got confused. It really depends on, like, do we want it to be a saving throw or do we want it to be an attack roll? So it's either do I roll or does he roll? I but think I, because it's not a save and it's not an attack, I think it should be a contest of your okay. dueling skill okay. versus his dueling well, skill. I just, well, you, got, you have my number. Yeah. Uh, 25. Okay, so not quite. Not quite? Okay. Because I got 27. Okay, yeah. So close. Yeah, I feel like if, if for the case of this, like Cloud of Daggers, those kind of things automatically hit, it'd be better not to do a save. Right? I am a slut for contesting yeah. rolls, so this is fine by me. Yeah. I didn't use Cloud of Daggers, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was you doing that, and then next is my turn. And I will use the uh, Cantrip Thunderclap to kind of go with the same kind of uh, lightning and earth theme that I'm going for. 
and the thunderclap for Aruxa is him roaring. Hmm. And like just this thunderous sound coming out from his big old bear maw, mm-hmm. right in your face, and he's just like <laughs> flying in your face as he's <laughs> as he's thunderclapping. That might be the one thing that's doing the real damage. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but uh, thunderclap is a uh, like I said cantrip that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, does thunder damage. Mm-hmm. And it does uh, its evocation. I didn't say that already. Uh, and if it hits, it's a it's a saving throw to not uh, be affected by it. Okay, I'll take the saving throw. Uh, 20. 20 will do it. Dirty 20. Mm-hmm. What? Alright. He's gonna be like, ugh, ah! <laughs> you nasty! <laughs> <laughs> you nasty! <laughs> But I guess you're looking a little weak in the knees. And he's gonna play like a slow little like. <laughs> and that's gonna be uh, level. He's gonna upcast um, crushing frailty to a level six. Oh and shit! It's would typically it, like under normal rules where spell things apply to things. I would actually get an exhaustion for this. But it would it would cause you to. It's a saving throw. It's a saving throw. It's I, a wisdom save. I think I'm going to take the saving throw for this. So you're upcasting it to level six. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Should the saving throws get harder as if you're upcasting something to level? For the case of this now, because we have the second one. I understand what you're saying. Because you can kind of see my strategy yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's been doing the same thing about your cantrips. You can count on your cantrips. Yeah. So, so I mean, well, let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I get. Another eighteen plus nine. Twenty-seven. Cool. Cool. I switched dice so that I didn't get the same math. <laughs> doesn't, work. Uh, Does, doesn't work that way. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that's a level six spell that I. Okay. So what does crushing despair do? What is what does that look like? Uh. So, I <laughs> imagine in the, the world where it was created, it was supposed to be like, oh, 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 but really, I'm just making it so that, like, as he's, like, playing this smooth music, like, your knees just start shaking, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, okay. my God. Yeah, your <laughs> it's bones like, are wanting to get dense. It's right? like the yeah. music moves. Oh, I'm almost thinking, like, it's just, like, so impossibly sexy. Yeah. That, like, you can't handle how impossibly sexy it is. How a word like, come. You're like, oh, 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 oh my god. And so, like, you just fucking lose oh, it. That was a great one. Like, uh, level six spell, power word come. Yeah. It's too attractive. I upcast that to a nine. That's what I would, uh, thank you for it. going with me on that. It's a beautiful journey. I know they say size doesn't matter. I am going to cast <laughs> spell it level does. Sure it sure don't hurt, baby. <laughs> As a another thing, I'm going to once cast the new spell hailstones, which is a a dexterity saving throw, which is a little surprise to me, but it does stone damage. So it's an evocation stone damage first level. Try to get the fuck out of the way, Dex. Yeah, I guess. It, it, it seems to me like it would be, I guess it's an area, it's never mind. It's just like, it's literally hailing stones. Not hail, not little hail, hail stones, because that would be ice. Hail! But, stones. hail stones. Yeah, <laughs> hail the stones. Alright, so that is a save, if you would like to Correct. not counter it. And I will mark down a first level stone stone. Um, I'll, once again, Take the save hit. Try to dodge it because I'm worried I might run out of spell slots if I do do this. <laughs> so he, he's just gonna be like, ooh, ooh, ah. This fight, there's fight, there's a lot less like throwing magic at each other and it clashing and more just like dancing. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dancing. Dance. Dance. Oh, almost had it. Nope, you gotta hit. Yeah. 13. Hit ooh. with a rock. He's like, ooh, 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 I still got it, I still got it, ooh, 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 six. Yeah, like a little bit more staccato with their movement. Is that your second hit? 
First hit, I believe. First hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's one to z- zero hits, one hit. Okay. Um, I am going to be like, I guess we're playing with a little more flavor. <laughs> He's like, then allow me to retort. <laughs> and he's going to, like, use his sax and be like, bah, 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 bah. and it's going to be like this ice ball that flies at you. Um, I'm going to upcast fifth level chromatic orb. Oh. <laughs> it's very high squeal. <laughs> Probably butchering <laughs> sax. No, yay. Hey. You do good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, Tweet at me if you play the sax. That was ice, you said? Uh, that is cold. Okay, so cold, cold sax. Sax. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag sax and violence. Mm-hmm. What kind of fifth level spell have I used so far? I think I just used I'm that. going to upcast as well to a fifth level spell slot, Wall of Fire. Hot. So, yeah. It's like your ice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so your ice ball just like you saying, and then just a wall of fire comes up and it just goes. That's mean. It's like a big sh- steam shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. If it's a level five, it would literally be like the entire fucking area. Like, area yeah. is now covered in the like, sixty this feet. Mist. Fucking this. Just think of like this like ball that's like hurtling at it, and just all of a sudden. <laughs> and the whole thing. <laughs> <is. laughs> that's like so funny. That's, what, that, that's what I was thinking. I thought it would be more funny that way, but yeah. Realistic, <laughs> realistically, it would be a big old fucking <laughs> mist explosion. And the whole student body goes, ooh. <laughs> Cotton candy's over there, like, oh, I was just thinking that could go for his theme. Misty's crawl so going to Misty. Misty. <laughs> just on the. Bassie and Astra, I assume, are both watching with rapt attention. <laughs> Astra going, well, look at these spells, and Bassie going, beat the shit out of each other! <laughs> Why are they not punching? I yeah. find your music unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderclap. Uh, Thunderclap Kendra? Yeah. No, I know you barely did right. that. <laughs> Three again. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Take one uh, fucking spittle damage from a spittle damage from a freaking bear roaring in your face. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just imagine like that that slow motion thing where you're like you see somebody like like this. And just little bits of water. <laughs> it's against. literally the beginning of Shrek. Yeah, that, there we go. That's what I was thinking of. When he's just roaring at them, and they're all just going, and yeah. he's spitting all over him, yeah. and he goes, "Now this is the pot where you run." Mm-hmm. All right, so it's two nothing. Rooks uh, has. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to fire on the ropes. Spit supremacy. Fire <laughs> with fire. <laughs> all right. Terrible <laughs> I, was, I, was, I'm not gonna I hardly that. even know what's in a sax noise. That was exactly what sax is sound like on the screen. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, what, what is the mechanic? Fifth level. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it? Uh, it is the uh, chromatic evocation fire. Uh, what do I do to get rid of it? Is it a, to hit or is it to save? It's to hit. So you rolled it. Yep. Oh. No mechanic? No. Go ahead. All right. Huh. Hmm. I'm up two one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leverage that a little bit here. Uh, dirty twenty. Okay, yeah, that will hit. All right, so I am at one hit. You just got hit by a ball of fire, <laughs> and Bassie's like, yeah. Ah! Yeah, bear fucking no, no, like, it hits me like right in the face. Like you just see like this like all this bear for like this singe, and it smells like the most. It smells terrible. <laughs> it smells absolutely garbage. Is that bear skin? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm gonna make you into a rug. <laughs> Coming from a bear, that's frightening as fuck. <laughs> Let's get that right. And I get cast. The and I cast uh, Stone Spike once more. You better not. 
All right, so maybe that is another saving throw uh, from a cantrip. Okay. In the spirit of, well, I should probably, well, what was it? You said it was a, what type was it? Oh, Stone Spike, it is a, let me go Stone. back to it. it. Yeah, it does evocation. Oh, I'll counter with a charge bolt. Level one charge bolt. Okay. A stone pack is an evocation that does stone parentheses piercing. That's not, that's interesting because they don't usually like on the on the actual Kickstarter like page it says stone parentheses piercing, but they don't have that listed for most other people. So. But we're gonna go with stone for here. He's gonna he's gonna do the same movie he did last time. Lightning goes through it. He's gonna be like, this is the same old song and dance. <laughs> you got no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't hate on my fave spells, bro. <laughs> there you're up. Um, he's gonna cast. So he's gonna be like, I need a little help with this one, and he's gonna use um, distracting cacophony level two, and it's one of those spells from the list. Mm-hmm. So, wisdom save, just impenetrable sound of noise, so it's gonna sound like this, like, all these different, like, musicians playing it, like, in your ears. It's honestly gonna sound like a lot like Miles Davis, like, music, where yeah. it's just like, yeah. And it's, like, really kind of, like, it's coordinated, but it's also, like, dysfunctional and, like... It's... And what, what is that? <laughs> what, what is the, the level... Oh, it's a wisdom save, so. And it is a enchantment? Yeah. Yes. Alright, I'm going to upcast shield level two. To block this terrible, terrible <laughs> noise. <laughs> There's this off actually, no, what I'm gonna do instead. Can I this doesn't actually make any sense, but can I cast deafness on myself so that I don't hear it? <laughs> Would it, is it part of the counter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I did no. silence because it was. If you look at um, thunder, it says silent spell under it. It's true. It's okay. What was it again? An evocation? Uh, yeah. No enchantment. Enchantment. I mean, definitely makes sense if it makes you. No, silent. it doesn't work. So I have to okay. use shield. Okay. I thought it would be funny, but it doesn't work with the mechanics. Anyway, yeah. Uh, level two, you said. Uh, yes. Alright. <laughs> the noise is coming from inside your brain. It the truly, doesn't work. It truly, truly <laughs> is. Alright, I am going to... Uh... I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cast Lightning Bolt. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna stand up like on my two back legs and just cast Lightning Bolt like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> lightning Bolt! Lightning Bolt! Lightning Bolt! Lightning Bolt! What? What is that? Is that level one? It's like level three. Oh. Really? <laughs> Evocation. It's Lightning Bolt! It's just basic Lightning Bolt! I know, I didn't think it was all the way up in level three though. It, 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 cha uh, chain Lightning is even higher. Lightning Bolt is essentially the line version of Fireball. Also, the lightning version of Fireball. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so it is a level 3 evocation that does lightning damage. What? Yeah. Crazy. Sanity. That's pretty good. I don't know why. Isn't it though? We do in Gygax. 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 Gigabytes. Dead guy. No <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, it's evocative. Yeah. So evocative. It's evoking lightning. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad you thought that was funny. God damn. I'm gonna cast keys on you. <laughs> How's it pronounced? Oh. You know what's hashtag crazy? Well, actually, no. I do have one spell that I can use, I suppose. I was gonna say, I don't have an actual counter to that, but I kinda do. He's gonna be like... You can upcast. No, I mean, like, I actually don't have a counter for it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But... 
Oh, so you're just gonna you just have to do it. Well, no, 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 no. I'm gonna. He's gonna be like. Now we're playing dirty, and he's gonna be like, he's gonna play his sax and be like, and it's like gonna create all this sound, and it's just gonna counter spell. Counter spell, yes, right. Ooh, there, it there it is. There it is. When, when in doubt, counter spell. You know what I never we, fixed? I never put counter spell on my Uh, Well, I mean, you won anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it, there is a, a little bit of a. Uh, I was squint at the inclusion of counterspell in the system, but, but for, the, it's for the sake fun. of for the sake of uh, no more squint than chromatic orb. Oh, I love both. Oh, yeah. you don't think so? Chromatic orb is fun. Chromatic orb is a very useful spell once you're able to use it for defense. All right, who's turn eight? Well, I just oh, cast lightning off. bolt on him, and he countered it with counterspell, so it is his. Is that all you got? And he's gonna like kind of just be like, I can play this all day. And he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna viciously mock you. No. Oh, I actually have something for this. It's called vicious mockery. <laughs> I'm going to do this because I think it's funny in the in the context of like what you're doing. I'm gonna cast silvery bards, and you're gonna hear it right back at you, and it's gonna be directed at you. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit the bird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, vicious mockery countered by silvery barb just makes so much sense. He's just gonna start <laughs> talking to himself. No, I can't do this all day. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. Hear. You can't do this all day. No, you. No, you. It's an Uno reverse card. <laughs> Spider Man point. <laughs> all right, uh, my turn again. It is your turn. I'm gonna slap you with another lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. So I'm just gonna kind of. I mean, straight up pop with it. It's really the only thing I can do. But I'm gonna do it as six level. Yeah. Ooh. Um, you can hold on to that one, huh? Yeah. Um, the only way I can, I mean, I, I just, I could use it as is, but in the way the mechanics of this works. Like... Yeah. Usually in counter spell, you could be like, okay, now roll to see if it works. But... Well, no, it's a it's a victory save. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's not just an auto hit, unfortunately. No. Well, even if it was auto hit, it would be contested rolls. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. It's only sporty. Make your save. This one. This one's screwed. Me Make your save. <laughs> going with the dice. Eat your pee, professor. It's orange. It's big. <laughs> yes, we roll it. <laughs> Too heavy. Oh God, the thump. That's it. Yeah! Fifth level six 15. lightning bolt of the oh. long way! <laughs> Kinda of bad. He's gonna go flipping back and then he's gonna like. <laughs> pelvic thrust, <laughs> pelvic thrust from the pair! You know, lightning you know, bolt. You know that scene in like, the Ra 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 where he, that guy gets punched and then he like flips and looks at his clothes fly off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware he's of it. He's just like tumbling yeah. and his like clothes are like flying off and he's like. Boom. And he's just looking at his underwear and he's like, Well, that's not how I expected the night to go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll show it to everybody after the break. After break, yeah. Oh bare skinned. Oh man, you barely got by that one. <laughs> you didn't get by it. <laughs> no, you. I barely got by it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That was barely funny. But it was funny. <laughs> so you're saying it was funny. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on this little uh, this little uh, experiment experiment journey into this system. Thank you so much uh, to our friends, Single Step Gaming, that you were, you uh, you were in contact with. Yeah, I love that you turned to me and thanked me like I was well, Single Step Gaming. Well, you 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 also were the one cast the one that was setting us up. So um, so thank you, Cat, for helping out with this um, and you know organizing. I'm just happy to be here. Me too. I live here, but yeah, I am happy. We had a lot of fun. It was super awesome. You should go check out their Kickstarter. I'm sure there's a link down there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we'll have it. Uh, link's going to be in, in the info, so just go check that out. If, if not, it's on our Twitter, all sorts of places. Or our Instagram. Oh, and just, uh, remind me one more time, what's the name of that Kickstarter that they're... Oh, God. I closed it out. Um, you just had it. You got fuck. it. You got it. Uh, so it's Secrets of the Salvera Academy. There's like 80... Plus. 80 plus D and D 5e spells that are actually pretty system agnostic and can be used like anywhere. 
And uh, yeah, it was really, really fun. And this honestly, is interesting spells in there. Their, their spells are really cool, guys. Yeah, I like the idea of adding some of the elements. I love Void. But anyways, besides the point, thanks for joining us. And uh, thank you for uh, being on this little adventure. And once again, go check them out. I accidentally hit that, but I totally meant to do that. Was it an accident? Was it, though? I don't think so. Can we roll it?